Hey, welcome back gamers. We're back right where we left off. Let's not waste any time. Let's head right on over to the Iron Forest and the Gauss Rifle Testing Workshops. I'm listening. This guy's got a Siva suit and G36. Hello. Oh yeah. Alright, let's go. Also, there's some serious fighting over here. This is out. Come see me. We need to talk about our business. Alright, Al, I'll talk to you when I come back. I've gone too far to turn back now. Lots of dude in an exosuit. God damn. God damn. Granado. A bandit in a trench coat versus a guy in an exosuit. I, um. I don't envy your odds there, Chief. But hey, anything's possible in the zone, that's for sure. Oh, the flesh has killed some dogs. Crazy. Crazy. Who knows what can happen in the zone, I tell you. Anything's possible. And in a trench coat can kill an exosuit guy if he really wants to. Flushes are killing pseudo dogs. It's a wacky, wacky place where the rules do not apply because there are no rules. That was just a random, random floating flesh. See, even the rules of gravity sometimes don't apply. This place is true, they whack. Also, there's a little bit of a stash around here. Let's hit that and see what's in it. Probably nothing crazy, but hey, might as well check, right? Uh, where is it? It's over here. In these rocks, possibly? Hit it in a little crevasse, perhaps? Yes, indeed. Looks like ammo, food, and meds. Yoink. Oh. Standard. Sidearm. Nothing to write, nothing crazy to write home about, that's for sure. Probably sell it when I get back to Skadovsk. Maybe you said a pop a few mut mutants in the meantime. I don't know. Just throwing ideas out there. Oh, well, these things are dead again. You know, I feel like... And this is sort of a shout-out to the Anomaly mod pack. You never really see mutants fighting each other in Anomaly. I feel like in this mod, you see it all the time. Dogs fighting flesh, boars fighting flesh and dogs and whatnot. Bloodsuckers attacking mutants, snorks attacking other mutants. I feel like in a lot of the mod box, you never really see that. Usually it's... Well, it's probably because you're the one cutting down the mutants left and right, so there's probably not a huge population to fight each other, but, you know, I feel like, I feel like you just never really see that. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just my imagination. Don't worry, guys. I'll take care of the boulder guys. You just uh, chill out and take five. Oh no, they're they're up. They're active. Here we go. Ah! There we go. Problem, problem solved. Quick save though, I'm pretty sure there's more. I, I got it guys, don't worry about it. It's all me. I remember, I think there are pyro geists in here you gotta fight. Just quick save that. Do 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 do.
Shh. Open sesame. This door does not open from this side. Well, shit. Oh, yeah, guys. How do these zombies get in here? Couldn't tell you. Man, the underground workshops are some of the best levels, in my opinion. In my opinion. The underground workshops always feel... They, they just have that cold industrialism. Which I like, personally. Spare ammo down here. I'll take it. I'll take it. Alrighty. Really? Is that really the way you want to play this? Save. Ah, pseudo giant. Fair enough. Never remember where the ladder up is. So we're here, I think. Turn this off. This ladder. You hear that ladder there? Yeah. Okay. Can I just... Oh my god. Bro. Thank you. Jesus. That's right, now I'm even further away. Loser. Okay, burning through all my ammo here. And weapon condition. Jesus. Well, that didn't do much. Oh, I was going to say, I'm like, did it die over there, or what the hell? Oh, I think it's wounded, finally. Mm -hmm. 
Jeez, I can't imagine doing this if you're low on ammo. Hey, got it. Eesh. That wasn't hard, that was just a, just a bullet sink. Oh, batteries, cool. Oh, it was a stash. Oh, alright. Yeah, sure. Didn't even realize it was a stash. Um, okay. I see. I remember now. Now I remember. What the? It's a damn burb. Yeah, and then you gotta skeet skeet across here. Or across here, sorry. Shimmy shimmy. Onto the vents. Into the vents. Under the vents. Also, I'm standing up right now. These vents are big enough to accommodate a standing man. Just throwing that out there. The documents refer to a central laboratory designated X-8, which could contain information about secret experiments conducted in the zone. Our analysts have been interested in this issue for quite some time. Yes, indeed. Anything else here? Nope. Alright. And well, there's the big boy. Let's fire it up! Anything on the stairs? Nope. Alright. Let's get out of here and, uh, RTP. And also repair my guns. Anything under the stairs? No. You never know. You never know when there's going to be a little stash of goodies under the stairs. Ah, sunshine. Sunshine. Clear skies. Just another beautiful day in the zone. If I do say so myself. Alrighty. Let's head on back to Skidovsky. It's nice to see the Iron Forest when it's not chock full of shocker anomalies, that's for sure. It's like, oh yeah. Peaceful places in the zone. I forgot what it was like. Alrighty. Just a short hop, skip, and a jump. Back to Skidoff. So we can talk to Owl when we get back there about whatever he wants to talk about. And then it's a uh, return to Captain What's-His-Face. You all know. Oh, they killed a bloodsucker. Sheesh. This means are crazy. AI versus AI, am I right? Actually, underweight, I'm still just burning through my stamina. Oh well. Oh well. Okay. Don't see any muties sneaking up on me. Little vacation resort there. Little little spot by the lake. This would have been a lake, right? 
Or maybe not, because it had large cranes and these cargo ships, so it might have been a large river of some sort. I think a river seems more likely. Well, the exosuit guy is still there. It looks like the bandit got shit on. Yep, that's his body over there. Yep. Bandit did not defeat the exosuit guy today. Not today. Maybe tomorrow. Alrighty. What needs doing? What needs doing? What needs doing? Lucy, I'm home. Al, where are you? Hey. We got a problem. Our little business here is up in the air now. Novikov did a heck of a job on those detectors. Extended the working range. Improved sensitivity. Some other stuff. The detectors let you run circles on all the other hunters. They deal with beers, stalkers. And our agreement was to split the loot evenly, but stalkers refused to bring. Excuse me. Uh, our agreement was to split the loot evenly, but stalkers refused to bring our half. You need to see Beard and convince him to hold up his end of the deal. Come on. You want your share too, don't you? Convince Beard. Do I have anything else to say to Cardan, by the way? Here's your access card back. Scientific med kit. Swag. I, I can give him the documents, but... Do I have to give the documents to... Welcome aboard our Captain whatever. Al says you're not keeping up your end of the bargain. We had a very clear understanding. I get the detectors, put them to use in the field, and he gets a cut of the proceeds. I paid him for two detectors already, so now I'm fully abiding by these terms. That's the extent of my agreement with Al. If you're working for him, you can take the third detector. I'm not buying it. I suppose so. Wouldn't deal with Al if I were you. If you're looking to make a good buck, I can give you a head start on the artifact hunt. Two, three hours, enough to beat all the others. Plus, if you're interested, I got a special order. You see, I urgently need an artifact called a compass. Tell me about the compass. The artifact is the stuff of legends. They say the compass is no, has no harmful side effects, and if used wisely, can lead you out of any anomaly. You can see why customers would line up to get their hands on it. Just like the other day, someone told me that Noah knows something about it. He's a soccer that's south of the here. Okay. Compass artifact. Cool. Goldfish, flame, firefly. Yeah, I don't have any of those. Uh, I'm just gonna. Drop in if something interesting comes up. Skadovsk won't be going anywhere, that's for sure. That is for sure. Um, okay, so now I got two of these. Swag, let's go. So I'm, I'm gonna quick save. I'm gonna give these documents to Cardan. You did it cool. I knew the bastards wouldn't have enough time to destroy everything. Let me look. Mm -hmm. That's what those sons of bitches are up to. Fine. I need a couple hours to sort this up for good. Leave the gods right with me. I'll try to patch it up. Wait here. I need a moment to get this baby singing again. Uh, yes, please repair my gear. Yes, please. Thank you. I don't even mind paying Cardan. He's a bro. And he's struggling with alcohol addiction. Beard told me you had a different arrangement. Different my ass. That beard hog is getting too big for his britches. He ought to remind who's the boss around here. Listen, there's this one influential type over at Satan. Goes by the name of Sultan. Pay him a visit. He'll tell you what to do. Well, Sultan's the leader of the bandits, which means he's probably going to want me to take over. No, thank you. Give me my share. All right, all that for fifteen hundred rubles. Pugh. Don't let the door. Hit. What a ripoff! All right, we gotta go talk to Noah, Big Noah, that, that freak. All right, let's go talk to Noah. See what he knows about this compass. Perhaps he knows something. Perhaps he doesn't. 
It's my job to find out what he knows. And if he knows too much, take him out. I am with military intelligence, after all. A job like that would be right up my alley. Oh, yeah. 100% this was like a river area. Initially, I thought it was a lake, because I was thinking Lake Yantar. But uh, this is definitely like a riverboat area. Sailing up and down to the Chernobyl MPP and back, probably. Noah, it's me. Hey, how are you? Uh, compass artifact. Know where I might find one? Oh, you just leave me alone. Howdy ho! Howdy ho! Just straight up gave me a compass. So it gives you protection, but it irradiates you, like everything else. Yeah. I like that there isn't, like, a side quest or something for this. I feel like the game devs were like, alright, I think they're probably gonna be sick of fetch quests by now. Let's just have Noah just give him the compass artifact. And good on him for that, because, yeah, I probably would have been kind of sick of another fetch quest where I have to run all over the zone. I don't have time to be zipping all over the place, looking at all these goddamn artifact fields. Or anomaly fields, I mean, for artifacts. Alright, beard, got any little compass. Little compass. Okay. We'll turn this in. We'll take a nap so Cardan can work on his thing. 10,000 and a stash? I'll take it. I'm all, I'm all in on that. Attain the one of ours achievement. Really? One of ours. You showed the bandits that and their leader, Sultan, who's boss, thus making you a popular man among the Stalkers. You're always welcome at Skidovsk. Stalkers think more of you now. Stalkers have asked Al the Trader to give you a discount. Beard is now offering you his best prices for artifacts. Let's go, boys. Let's go. So you. Uh, yeah, I just want to sell this crap. Sell you that stuff. Uh, I'll sell you the Hercules. I'll sell you a bunch of Rad's stuff. Because I don't need that many. Yeah, 4,800 rubles. Do you sell the... Yes, you do. You sell the 9x39. Nice. 1,300 rubles spent. 4,800 gained. We're operating at a profit here, boys. Okay. Let's take a nap so we can talk to Cardan. Okay, got it done. Talk to me. You done? Piece of cake. Power supply system is clear as day. So I can't just bring that back for a tune-up. Got the Goths rifle and the documents. 2,000. Cool. Batteries and homemade batteries. Swag. Oh, baby. We got the sheesh cannon. All right, let's head back to, uh... Hello. Hey, how are you? I have to wait for this mission to be over. Yeah, dang it. Hunting. 
All right. Waiting for the mission again. Let's go. Yana Station, we'll talk to Gary. Gary! Actually, we might buy some ammo while we're there. Go! Come on over, bro! Hey, bro. Do you sell 9x39? No, you don't. Well, I guess let's talk about 556 while I'm here then. Yoink. Thank you, sir. Pop in sometime. Hey, I'm stalker. Fun How are you? Alright, let's go to Pripyat. Go to Pripyat. Dodger, Dodger. Still only 200 rounds for this thing. Not a lot of ammo, not a lot of ammo. It's a shame they don't have a traitor traitor. But then again, how could they? This is a makeshift military outpost. Alright, let's talk to our bully here. Hello. I have info on the unidentified weapon, the Gauss rifle. Only it can, but Stinger 4 and 5 crashed due to electromagnetic malfunction. Accelerated bullets couldn't have done that. Damn, it's a dead end then. I don't have any other ideas. All we can do now is sit on our asses in this in the middle of the friggin' zone and hoping they'll come for us. Okay, that's enough whining for me. Let's concern ourselves with things we can affect here and now. Thanks to you, we can now we now know that hiding in cover isn't going to keep us safe from those accelerated bullets. And that's already something. So, thank you, Major. I'll contact you when we get anything new. Uh, okay, it's just a big lore dump that I don't need. Let's go rescue this entry. And he is where? All the way over yonder. Cool. Also, what? Most powerful mutant killed? Chimera is technically stronger than the pseudo giant? That's crazy. I would have thought pseudo giant would have been our new strongest mutant killed, but guess not. Fucking psych. Okay. You know, strangely enough, this being in Pripyat is like the first area I'm actually noticing this ambient music. Is it like, am I crazy or like, has there been no music anywhere else? I feel this is like the first time I'm hearing ambient tracks. 
I don't know if I'm just like tripping or or what. Alright, quick save. Hello. Anybody home? How the ho? Oh. No, oh, did I fail to save him? Oh, that's not. I thought he was freaking out. Hang on. I can. I can totally save him. I thought he was in like a scripted animation there. No! 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 Completely my fault there. Whoa! Map has straight up disappeared. Oh no, he just dies. Oh. I thought I could save him. I guess he wasn't a scripted cutscene after all. was that? Oh, you mother mugger. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's being puppeteered by a controller, I see. <laughs> Base, the sentry is dead. He was acting strange and attacked me. I also identified and eliminated a controller in that area. Copy that, Major. The controller must have taken over the sentry. Uh, he was a good guy. That must have been what happened to the recon unit. The controller forced them to attack each other. Anyway, over and out. Alrighty. Did tire have one, controller zero. Get absolutely dunked on, my friend. Quick save. Is the controller the strongest mutant? Nope, Chimera is stronger than a controller. Man, Chimeras are really the top the top dog. No pun intended. Alright, let's head on over to Lab X8. Let's see what we can do. Eliminate the monolith garrison there and uh and we'll see what's what, and we'll see how we're doing for time on the video. The battle for the service plant could be a little interesting. I think there's monolith RPG guys there, if I remember correctly. Which is always super, super fun. Super, super fun. Yay, fun times. I'm having the time of my life. What is seeing me? Hey, fucking bloodsucker, that's what. Fuck you, bloodsucker. Yay.
Go, 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 go. Close the distance, close the distance, close the distance. I hate running over these little sidewalk bumps. They take away all your momentum for some reason. I hate it. Friggin' annoying. Okay, if I recall correctly, there are zombies on the first floor and Monolith on the second and third. Apparently there are 23 enemies here. Good God. Okay, same room. Sleep. Trying to shoot me through the floor. Which is really exciting. Whoa, buddy. What a fiendish little hiding spot for those zombies. Absolutely fiendish. Save. Fucking hell, bro. Quick save again. You stare so no bueno. Looking good for food, so we'll not worry about that. Still 13 enemies lurking around here somewhere. Let's not let our guard down. I think we've cleared out all those zombies. That must mean the gang. Okay, that caught that caught me a little by surprise. Not gonna lie. Man, it's like kill a guy, reload. Kill a guy, reload. Kill a guy, reload. Oops, didn't want to do that. Getting totally have your AK, bro. Looking for 5.56 five, ammo. Now oh, your silly billy AKs. Quick save before heading up. That's a model of sniper. Aiming is for bitches. Oh, this is a little sneaky breaky flanking area. What was that? I quick save so often because, you know. One good burst from the monolith guy, and that's GG. You're done, Zo. Okay, we're good on this side. I go up and over. 
Flying at me? Perhaps. Yes, yeah, no, maybe, possibly. Whoa, okay. There's the last man standing. There he is, Amber Good. Area clear. I am superior to the monolith in every way. Alright, we gotta turn on the power generator source thing for the... Oh. Hello, Barchuk. Doink. Thank you, sir. Your service will be remembered in the coming empire. All right, I gotta, I gotta hit this motor. Descend into laboratory. Maybe I will, but then again, maybe I won't. How about that? Oh, there's an artifact on the rooftop. Hold the phone. Gah. Which I apparently can't walk onto. Or can I? Perhaps I can! <laughs> Losers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, Artifact, where are you? Over there somewhere. Wow, this is a pretty sick spot to be in. I didn't even know I could level geometry myself up here. It's pretty fucking swag. Alright, where are you? Uh huh. Now how do I get out of here? <laughs> now I'm like, how the hell do I get out of here? I can skirt my way back to the ledge here, I will be good. Nice. Epic. Oh, there's a friggin'. Friggin' bloodsucker. What an asshole. Possible wasted gauss rifle shot? Eh, maybe. Alright, quick save in case I get zapped. Oh, no sir. Not today. All for a snowflake artifact. Wow. That really wasn't worth it. All right. Let's uh, head on back down. Is the elevator on this floor? Yeah, it is. Also, this guy's inventory. I can't read this, can I? No. Can't do anything with it, any of that. Alright, let's head on down. Descend. Alright, gamers, I think we'll cut it there. In the next part, we'll be tackling X8 and then probably heading back to the laundromat. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.